Okay, okay, okay. I have an automatic tumbler press that I think we both need to see to believe, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Roy and on this channel we talk about sublimation and lasering. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm really glad to have you. Today, we are going to unbox and test out a brand new automatic tumbler press. It's the Enior Automatic Tumbler Press Machine, model number CH2304. I'm going to get this thing out of the packaging and then we're going to talk about the company as well as my thoughts on automatic presses. So let me get it out of here. I'm very curious to see how this thing is going to work. So you get the automatic tumbler press, a power cable, some tape, a couple of gloves, a manual, and a couple of fuses. So let me give you a little bit of history on automatic presses and this particular company in your. So on the one hand, I've never been I don't want to say I've never been a fan. I've always been skeptical of automatic heat presses, like the presses that you lift up. And the reason is, I'm a, I guess I'm a control freak. I want to be able to control a very slow lift off of a heat press just to make sure that the paper doesn't have a chance to shift and create any ghosting. Um, and so I, I'm, 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 I'm apprehensive, but I'm very curious as to how this is going to work. But on the other side, this company, Enior, they sent me a regular tumbler press probably five or six months ago. Hey, let me grab it. So they sent me this press several months back. It's the model number CH2242. And I have not used my other tumbler press since I got this. I'm so blown away at how well it has worked. And I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Enior because of this press. So I'm very excited about it. And um, I want to thank Enyor for sending this my way to test out. They also know though that I'm going to be very honest in how I feel about this. But the company itself, very, very impressed. This is the only machine I've been using since I got it. And that's saying a lot. So let me hook this thing up. We'll turn it on and we'll see about firing it up. Okay, we've got it plugged in and I went and read the directions. It's pretty simple. The only thing that's a little bit confusing is there's a pressure value reference. And so I'm not exactly sure what that means. So we'll have to figure that out, but we're gonna turn it on. And what I typically do is I press for 50 seconds, rotate the tumbler, manually rotate the tumbler 180 degrees, press for another 50 seconds, manually rotate the uh, tumbler for 90 degrees, press for 25 seconds, rotate it 180 degrees, and press for a final 25 seconds. I do that because I want consistent coverage throughout the whole tumbler, and I've just found it gives me great tumblers between the way I wrap and the way I press. It's just giving me great tumblers all the time, so that's what I do. This does a press, and then it automatically rotates and does another press. So because of that, my total time is 150 seconds. I'm gonna do two uh, presses at 70 seconds, and we're gonna see if that works. So let's set it. I'm gonna hit the set button. It's at 160 right now, so I wanna go, my pressure is normally 165. Now this is telling me it's gonna do 65 seconds on the first press, I want it to do 70. Same thing on the second press, I want it to do 70 seconds and then this is my this is my pressure and it's recommending 75 um, uh, pressure for the size tumbler I have my tumbler the uh, diameter is two and seven eighths which is 2.875 and so that falls within the 75 um, number for pressure so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to leave it at that set it and then I'm gonna put the tumbler in, I'm gonna put a, 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 this is the tumbler I normally use for when I heat up my other press. I'm gonna put it in here just a little bit because I wanna be able to see how well I can or can't move it. I like very light pressure. So we're gonna hit start and we're gonna see it come in and now it's, now it's touching. Oof, that's way, 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 way too much uh, pressure. So I'm gonna, Hit stop twice, it's gonna open it up. Let's go to, 
For a larger tumbler, it says do 65. So let's try 65. So we're gonna go back to set. We're gonna go keep it at 365, 70 seconds on the first one, 70 seconds on the other. We're gonna go down to 70. Actually, let's do 65. That was really, that was really tight. So let me put it in now at 65, which is the next setting um, on the uh, pressure value reference chart. That's still tighter than I'd like for it to be. So I'm gonna press stop twice, that'll open it up. And then let's go and Let's hit set 365, 70 seconds, 70 seconds, 65. I'm going to go down to 60. Should I do, go lower than that? Let's try it. Put it in, hit start. Again, I like really light pressure. I don't think it needs much pressure. That's it. I can't move it up and down. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to stick with, uh, what did I do? Let me turn it off. So that's what we're going to leave it at, and we're going to try it at that. Let me, whoop, <laughs> let me get a tumbler ready, and we will press it. Okay, so I think I've got everything set how I want it. I am going to, I'm going to put the seam into the side. If it rotates 180 degrees, the seam will continue to not be here. That's very weird, just dropping it in like that, but we're going to, we're going to hit start. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, if this works, I'm really going to like it because the way I currently do 50 seconds, 50 seconds, 25, 25, I'm constantly at the, um, at the press. I can do little things and I've got a really good routine now where I'll do a couple of things here and do a couple of things here. But if this thing works, I've got, you know, 140 seconds that I can completely wrap another tumbler and do a couple of other things. So it'll be interesting. I'm really, really impressed with this company, uh, with my other, uh, tumbler press that they, um, they sent me a while back. It's all I use really good, like a workhorse. All right, we're at 15 seconds. Very curious to see what happens here. The directions are, are self-explanatory. You gotta read them, but they, they work. All right, what's happening here? Stop it. Okay, it didn't rotate at exactly 180 degrees, but that's okay. It's, um, it's rotating it out of this opening, so the entire tumbler is, uh, is getting um, uh, the right amount of uh, temperature for hopefully the right amount of time. I do like it if, it's, uh, if it went around 180 degrees, because then I know I'd be getting the same amount of time on the whole, mostly the whole tumbler. Um, but we're going to see how it works. Who knows? We'll know in, in a few seconds. So I am going to pull, I've got a, uh, a couple of different boards that I use to keep from getting my table hot. So we'll put it on here in my little oven mitt. <laughs> it's kind of impressive. If it works, I hope it works. That's it, I guess. Let's pull it out. Easy to get out. And um, what I typically do is I take the top off, the top tape. I overwrap, but I, I don't ever have a problem with seams when I overwrap. And then, I take the bottom, I pull the tape off the bottom, but I don't let the paper come off or move because this thing's still really hot. So what I'm gonna do is 
I pull the, paper, the tape down the seam most of the way down, but leave just a little bit at the bottom. And then I give it the amount of time for another tumbler. So we're gonna give it a couple of minutes and then we will unwrap it and see what happens. I'm gonna turn this off for right now. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Let's unwrap this and see what it looks like. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. So this may be my new favorite machine. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sublimate five or six, and then I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts. But I gotta tell you at this point, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So let me make a couple of more and then we will we'll come back and and talk about it. Okay, I am going to do several of them at once, uh, but I did think, you know what, let's uh, see if I can actually wrap one tumbler while the other one is being pressed, since I don't have to babysit it. I think I'm gonna do another video on seams, because a lot of people struggle with them. I think I'm gonna do it from a different perspective, but anyway, let's put this first one in and slide it in here and we're gonna hit start. And while it's going, hopefully I'm gonna be able to wrap, is it working? Yep. Hopefully I'll have time to wrap one tumbler I know I'm not halfway through yet because I'll hear it when it rotates, when it automatically rotates. Okay, it's still going. That means I'm halfway through, right? Because I'll have to allow... A little smoke coming out. That's, I guess, to be expected. 70 seconds. So this is done. Now this is a mostly black tumbler, so it'll be interesting to see how well that works. So wrapping a tumbler in a very awkward position and I was able to do it before the one tumbler finished wrapping. You know what, I'm gonna uh, come back. We'll come back whenever I have done the rest of these tumblers and see how well they work. What do you think? Good? I think. Okay, let's recap what I've done. Let me give you some thoughts. I did have a couple of errors uh, happen and I wanna go over those. The first two that I did, this was the first one that I did. It came out absolutely wonderfully. The seam, the top, the bottom, everything came out perfect. This is the second one I did, which by the way, Maya is the designer. She's probably my favorite designer ever. I'll leave a link to her uh, Etsy page in the description. Definitely check her out. This is one of my best sellers. This and a couple of other ones that she has like this. Anyway, this one came out fine as well. Perfect. The pressure value reference on these, I think that it was supposed to be 75 and I just thought that was way too much. So I dropped these to 60 and they came out great. And I thought, you know what? It could use a little less pressure. I was wrong. So I dropped it down to 58. And then I did, <clears throat> well, this one was wrong on a bunch of levels. First off, I accidentally, um, I accidentally put the paper on upside down and overlapped it the wrong way so I have a white seam. So this will be used for something else. But the bottom had a couple of little spots on it where the paper wasn't flush against the, um, against the tumbler. And this one, same with this one. These were all at 58, the pressure being 58. Um, uh, it's not great. And then this was the worst with the black. And um, this was also with the pressure setting of 58. So I thought, you know what, I need that that element to wrap a little bit tighter around the bottom. The tops of all of them were fine, just needs to wrap around the bottom. So I upped it to 62 for this final one and this final one came out perfectly fine. So 
I'm going to consider the ones that were messed up an uh, operator error. I was testing out that pressure. Your pressure may or may not need to be a little bit different. Uh, I ended up with a 62 pressure value reference and that worked fine. I might actually go up to 64, although this came out perfect and you know how blacks can be a little bit of a pain in the butt every once in a while. But I love this machine. I, um, I Again, I'm gonna tweak the pressure a little bit more. Maybe not, I'm gonna do a bunch more at the 62 and, and make sure they work okay. I'd like to do a 30 ounce tumbler. I don't have any on me right now, but it's certainly tall enough to do it. And here's the great thing about it. This has four different settings. So I set it at 70 seconds rotate another 70 seconds to 365 degrees on a pressure of, I ended up at 62. I could take another one of these settings and set it at a different pressure because the 30 ounce is gonna be bigger, so I'll need a different pressure. And if I wanted to do, uh, let's say a ceramic or porcelain uh, coffee mug, uh, those take, for me, I usually do those at 385 degrees for a little bit longer. So I could actually do a setting for those. So I don't know about you, but one of the hardest things that, um, that I had to overcome when I first started was pressure. And how do you describe pressure to somebody? I normally on my other tumbler press use very light pressure, but I'm kind of guessing it when I'm moving those knobs to put a 30 ounce or put um, a different, a glass can or whatever in there. So the beautiful thing about this is it's a preset pressure. So once you figure out what that is and you can set it and you're going to always have the exact same pressure. So I can tell somebody now if they got this, I would suggest they start at a pressure value of 62. That's where I'm at right now. So um, a, a great opportunity uh, to be able to get a constant pressure. I really, really like it. I was able to, uh, while one tumbler was being made, I was able to completely wrap another tumbler and I'm sitting a little bit more awkwardly than I normally would. I know when I've got this thing wrapped around facing me and I've got the room and I'm standing like I normally do when I'm wrapping a tumbler, I'll probably be able to get a couple of tumblers wrapped for each one of those. So it's gonna free up my time. It's gonna certainly change my workflow, but definitely free up my time. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than a regular uh, tumbler uh, press. I highly recommend Enyor, whether you get this one or whether you get the other one that I've got. And I have a video on that other one. Uh, I'll link it in the description. Definitely go back and check that out as well. Uh, it's just kind of awesome. I uh, was not a fan of automatic presses. This has changed my mine. There are links in the description. This is an affiliate link. If you decide to get one, I would greatly appreciate it. If you use that, it will certainly help me out and help this channel out. Great way to support the channel without it costing you anything. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Click the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. We do all kind of Tumblr stuff and also laser stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. It's my arms. Damn it. It's hot. So thank you much without you costing anything. I am so blown away at how well, well it was really hot. Hey everybody. Welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Roy. And we talk about lasering, and every once in a while we will... And every once in a while we unbox and test out a brand new thing. So this is the thing that we're going to test out today. Thing. Thing. Thing.